Hello, here we'll look at the idea of directed numbers. Now, directed numbers refer to positive and negative numbers. Let's um, look at some examples to, to see how this, this kind of number comes about. Uh, let me look at um, two, just two simple numbers like 3 and 2. So these are numbers, simple numbers that we know. If I subtract these two numbers, if I take 3 minus 2, I will get 1. Right. Now let me do this a bit differently. Let me write the 2 in front and the 3 after. Let me subtract these two. If I take 2 minus 3 now, what do I get? 2 minus 3. But 2 is smaller than 3. So how can I take a smaller number and then minus a bigger number? Well, I can, the difference between 3 and 2 is 1. That's the difference between 3 and 2. But if I'm subtracting a bigger number, the way to do that is to put a minus sign in front of the answer. So the minus sign tells me that um, it is what I would get if I subtract a... a, a bigger number from a smaller number. Okay, So I would call this a negative number. And, and because I have a negative number, I, I need a name for the number that is not negative and it, that's called a positive number. So that's how we can think about, think of how, how we get these negative numbers happening. But what is the use of having negative numbers? I mean, you can count things with positive numbers, right? If you have, if you're counting apples, you can count one apple, two apples, three apples, and so on. So, positive numbers are useful. But you don't have negative numbers of apples. What does it mean if I have minus one apple or minus two apples or? minus three apples. It seems quite meaningless, but it can be useful. For example, think about, um, say, the temperature. Say the temperature um, this morning, right? If, say the temperature this morning is 30 degrees. And then this afternoon it rained. And it becomes cooler and it is now 25 degrees. So from this morning the temperature has dropped by 5 degrees. Now I can think of this change in the temperature. If I'm going to think of a change, I can take the new temperature minus the old temperature. 25 minus 30. And because I'm subtracting a bigger number, right, the difference is 5, but I need to put a minus sign in, in front. I say that the change in temperature is minus 5 degrees. Now when you see, see this minus sign in the change, you can actually understand that as a decrease in the temperature. So instead of saying that there is a, that the temperature has dropped by 5 degrees, I can also say that the change is minus 5 degrees. So in a way, having the minus sign in front of the, of the um, number 
it's a quick way to say that the things has uh, decreased. So that's how we can use negative numbers. Uh, and you can imagine many situations where uh, quantities like that change that you can use it. Like say uh, the, the, the sea level, right? The sea level goes up and down when you have high tide or low tide. So if the sea level goes down, right? You say that the level of the, you, you give the level, uh, you give the change a negative number and you can know that the tide has gone down. And, um, and perhaps one useful way to visualize positive and negative numbers is to draw a number line. So I can have a line, I can, I can have marks on that to represent numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. And then this will be positive numbers and I can imagine that if I have negative numbers, that will go along the other side of the line, minus 1, minus 2, and so on. So that's yet another way to, to um, think about negative numbers. Okay, we'll stop here for this part.